who gave your right to vote, trials fair. Veterans fought for your voice so there's equal treatment. It was not the poet nor the reporter that fought for free press, for free speech. Veterans fought for unbiased news and talk so that we could be free of fear. Saluting the flag under which he serves, veterans found the foundation sacrifice Freedom ordered by brave blood spilled, they maintain our liberties and our freedom today. So we gather today to honor an individual who is one of our veterans. And I'm always reminded as I go to scripture and think of scripture that freedom is never free. Freedom always comes at a tremendous price. And it comes at a price of men like this who were willing to go foreign lands and fight for us in places like Vietnam for in this in this case so we gather today to uh, again pay respect and we gather today to uh, commit to the ground this individual who has fought for us let me share with you a couple passages of scripture you're familiar with them most of you would be the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he makes me to lie down in green pastures he leads me beside still waters he restores my soul he leads me in the paths of righteousness for his namesake. And even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever was the other day, last Sunday, when we gathered that we shared the common theme that one of the things about the Bible that all of us believe is that it's appointed that a man wants to die. We get to live a life, but ultimately all of us end up here. And I think we all face the reality of that. And it reminds us that while we're alive, we prepare for what is coming, ultimately our death. And Jesus had a lot to say about that. He said this, let not your heart, let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. 
believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you that I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and take you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? And Jesus said to him, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And if you have known me, you have known my Father. And from now on, you also know him and have seen him. We gather today to commit this body to the ground and to commit his soul to God. Let me close with these words. If you know them, you can say them with me. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let's pray to Father, we thank you for a life that was well lived. We thank you for this family that stands here today, and we pray that you would be with them in the days to come. That as they walk through the grief that they will inevitably go through, that you would be to them a God, that you would comfort their hearts during this time of great loss. So today we just pray for them as we commit this body to the ground and commit and entrust this soul to you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
Jim, on behalf of Warriors Watch Riders, it's my present right to honor to present you with this honor going as a token of our appreciation for your dad's service to our country. Please accept it today. Thank you very much, and I appreciate everything you guys did for us. It's our honor to be here. It's our honor.